when date night includes the Seattle Art Museum curator's talk, The Enigma of an Exalted Monk. Although we bolted the creme de peau at the Thai place to run across First Avenue in time for the museum lecture, I lingered mentally over the dark chocolate's bitterness and the whipped fluff's sweetness, yet grabbed the juicy strawberry halves splayed at the lip of the plate can't bear to leave behind their luscious redness, almost drinkable flesh, after the stiffer texture of the custard. And we pitch ourselves, as I swallow the fruit, together, laughing, out onto the wet walkway, dash to make the light, and race into the packed auditorium. In synchrony, we slide into our row, shed our warm layers, mute our phones, and give our attention to the image of the Chinese figure we have long loved, known as monk at the moment of enlightenment. Every time we visit him, we wonder at the wild vortex of his robe, the elation of his expression. He's in motion and about to sing or yell. But our curator reveals he is someone unfamiliar, a lohan or an arhat, a dragon catcher without his bowl or pearl. His wooden skull, carved seven centuries ago, contains no items of consecration, no sacred scroll, no yuan banknote, no semi-precious stone, but paper chambers encasing mummified mud wasps. The night's incidents and fresh facts collide, and from their crash, craft in our own fat-filled minds, crackling new synapses, all the jouncy bus ride home. <laughs> After Yuan Zen. Only misting, we say, so accustomed here to rains. Fog skirts Mount Rainier, grays on whites. Always I look for the peak at any window. Calyptiana hummingbirds visit our feeder many times every day. Yes, I see them. I see the volcano, too. Still, my dreams are of you. Mm -hmm.